In this video, we'll walk through how to create a YouTube API key for your WordPress site. Specifically, we'll use the embedplus.com YouTube WordPress plugin to embed videos. First thing you do is to find the page to actually create a YouTube API project. You might as well just Google YouTube API key, which shows a result on top, which is the overview page created by Google. Once you get there, you'll click the link that says Google Developers Console. There you can create a project for your API key and then create an API key within the project. Once you click that link, you should get a page that looks like this. And as I mentioned earlier, you want to create a new project. So click this link highlighted. And then give your project a name. And here we just have a simple name for Embed Plus plugin. Pick whatever you want. It's up to you. But once you do, you hit the Create button. And now you have a project. Once you have the project, you can now enable APIs and other services within the project. Again, our goal is to create a YouTube API key. So you're going to click this button shown here. And then you want to find the actual kind of API you want to use for the project. In this case, we're going to want the YouTube Data API version 3. So you can type that in and Google will autocomplete and you select that and here's the result you should get. Once you see that, you should just click it and um, you can start enabling that particular API. So click enable. So click credentials is highlighted. And click Create Credentials on the next page. And you should click the first option, which is API Key. So at this point, the API Key will be created. And you'll get something like this while it's creating the API Key. And now you have a key listed but note that there aren't any restrictions. So we want to make sure that, again, only requests from your website can use this particular API key. You wouldn't want anyone, for example, to take your API key and use it on their site because Google provides a quota limit. So go ahead and click the API key option and this particular API key has a label, a name, API key 1, but you're able to change that particular name to whatever you wish. Um, I'm just leaving it here the way it is by default by Google because this is just an example for this video, but feel free to name it whatever you wish. And if you do want to change it, once you click the uh, link just shown, you'll have the box up top to enter your new name on the right side you'll see that there is your api key we'll actually copy it later but in the middle of the page you can set your restrictions so we want to pick websites is highlighted and then we want to start adding restrictions which is something we can do at the bottom as it says if left bank your key will accept requests from any website So go ahead and add your restrictions and basically there are going to be three entries we add. Your website url.com forward slash star and then star dot your website url.com forward slash star and then also you also want Google to be able to use this key and provide metadata, for instance, for the YouTube API. 
to your site. So go ahead and add googleapis.com exactly as shown here. So star.googleapis.com forward slash star. So for Embed Plus, for example, we would have three different entries as shown here as well. So here's an example where you add one entry, embedplus.com forward slash star. Once you hit that, sorry, once you uh, enter that, you hit done. And again, you don't type embedplus.com here for your case. You type your website url.com forward slash star. So fast forward, you'll have three entries. Make sure the Google APIs.com one is listed, and then make sure the two other ones for your specific websites are there. And Google will give you some options of how to further restrict it beyond just websites. For instance, we want to make sure that this particular key is being used only for YouTube API requests, particularly version 3. So we're going to select that and hit OK. And don't forget to save. So you should get a page that looks like this, and you can have it show your API key. Once you do, you'll get a box where you can copy it, and it should be in your clipboard after that. And you're ready to go insert it into the plugins. YouTube API key text field, you paste it and hit save changes and you're good. You might have to actually reset your caches if you're not seeing anything being responded to by Google. So either clear the plugins cache or clear any site cache that you might have.